Hi, chat. I was angry, apparently. <laughs> I must have pressed the button by accident. That's my fault. Anyway, welcome to tonight's stream. Uh, sorry about last night. I was feeling a little sluggish, and I just kind of wanted to rest because it's been very humid here. I'm looking out my window, and it's cloudy, but there's a little bit of sun. <sighs> and it's hot. So I just needed a rest. I was feeling very tired. Anyway... Welcome to the stream tonight. We're playing more Darkwood. Um, you know, that great game from a couple, a few weeks back. Let me just adjust my position. There we go. Where we were running around a forest, getting chased by dogs, and running away from moose. Because moose are terrifying in Darkwood. Hi, Enryu. How you doing? Anyway. Uh, don't got much to talk about. Um, besides the fact it's uh, Pride Month, so... You know, happy Pride Month, everybody. Um, and moose are terrifying anyways. Yeah, that's that's true. Moose are absolutely terrifying. Um, tonight's stream, we're going to be seeing as far as we can get into the second area. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll get invited back to the wedding. Because we did explore it. And we went up to the point where we're supposed to go to trigger the events. Um... But the wedding is kind of random, I hate to say. Random with how it uh, triggers. Uh, last stream, I was getting completely distracted by my own VTubing model because <laughs> I'm absolutely in love with it. I'm very happy that it got done. So you have to say thanks again to Enrio over here for uh, buying it and then putting it together for me. Making sure that uh, all my uh, fur patterns and colors are right. Um... Of course, she bought this from, uh, I forget the name of the maker, but she bought this from somebody, and when I remember, I'll say, or Enria can tell us. I forgot what their username was, and I feel terrible about that. But then again, I'm kind of square-brained right now, anyway. Regardless of that, um, next week, I think I want to play more Necromunda. Uh, Julia Winterpaw, yes, that's it. Thank you. Thank you, Enria. Uh Credits for the model go to Julia Winterpaw. And then in Ryu, uh, did all the colors and everything. All my fur patterns, my markings. And then I threw it together and I made sure it worked as a VTubing model, which uh, <laughs> took a bit more time than I'd like to admit, but I got it working. Anyway, um, I also use it as a VR chat model, which has been a lot of fun. Anyway, uh, next week I want to try, if it's, I think it would be fun if we did more Necromunda that bolter got me so excited oh it's such a good sounding bolter um and then i'd like to actually get more factorio done um i'm probably not going to play more total warhammer for now i'm getting kind of burnt out on that mostly because um the game is starting to pull out its cheating stuff on me which just isn't fun um I w i'll work on that yeah i will work on that in ryu i have to actually I have to actually try and get those um, settings applied on the model itself and then re reapply it to the program and everything. That shouldn't be too hard. I just have to adjust spring bones and stuff like that and make sure the parameters are working. Um, now, without further much going on, let's get into Darkwood here. Let me turn that volume back up. There we go. I'm going to have to turn down the music a little, but Darkwood is an interesting game, to say the least, to do any sort of uh, <laughs> mixing with. But here we go. Into Darkwood we go. Oh, let me just... Alrighty. Play. Uh, Profile 2, Day 6. That's us. Yes. Yeah, that's us. Okay, that's good. Uh, for anybody who ha who wasn't here last time, Darkwood is a game is a horror game that claims uh, is well top of the screen claims. Um, it's a horror game which doesn't hold your hand and doesn't treat you like a child. So, uh, not saying that jump scares aren't a valid form of horror, but this game, the developers literally said they wanted to make a a horror game without jump scares, which is where Darkwood came from. Uh, this game is based completely upon atmosphere, 
uh, building tension and confrontation whether you want it or not. Yeah, and I remember last time we stopped off here. It's 10 in the daytime, it's raining. I wanted to, I think last time I wanted to see how much I could get together before we moved to the new area. Um... Also, I just noticed that there's in fact a stump under my wall. Uh, so, top-down perspective. I might have to mess with the sound a little, actually, seeing that go off. I feel like it's a tiny bit loud. This game is very weird to mess with the mixing for. Um, also, I forgot to start up a thing. I have it ready in the background here. So let's get it started. It should be very easy. I forgot to start. This is just me forgetting to start up the thing. I actually have okay internet connection. Um, let me get stream avatars running quickly. Because I said I would have it running last time. And I forgot this time. Anyway, it'll take not but a second. There we go. Let's see. Yay! There we go, we're running. Okay. Took not but a second to get going. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, no. It shouldn't. Also, my model apparently doesn't listen to the, to the own rules my thing has set up for. Hang on a second here. You guys might disappear behind me, which is, yes, you can all hide behind, which oh, I'll figure it out for next stream, but if you disappear behind me on this stream, you can use it as a place to hide from, uh, hide from the monsters. That's the way I'll justify it. Just don't feel like messing with every single stream setting as we try and get going here. Alrighty. Let's get going. No, I was mostly worried about that last time for other reasons. Um, because my internet wasn't being very reliable. Hello, Obsidia. I see you in the chat because of stream avatars. All right, let's see. Where are we going? Uh, I think I just wanted to check and see how much wood and other things I have laying around. If there's any other materials I can get before next time. What I got in my bag? Boards. Right, I also built the shovel last time. We haven't been in here yet, so let's take a look in this, uh, wooded area. Anyone, uh, let me know how volume-wise, um, stuff like that, once again. Uh, this game is hard to mix for, and right now you're not going to be able to hear much sound anyway because of the rain. But, you know. Okay, got some mushrooms, that's fine. Got some meat, which I might discard. I don't know how much valuable it is. Yeah, I don't know. We can get rid of the meat. We don't need meat. Our character doesn't eat. Our character, uh... Our character injects that mushroom stuff. Let's just say that much. Uh, where else could I go? I think I still have to check the camp and stuff. Where there were dogs. Anyway, um, as we continue onward, everyone's hiding behind me now. <laughs> I really didn't expect that. I have a, uh, I have it on stream here set so that I'm not the first and foremost thing that appears, but apparently I am. Oh well. Hello, wolf. I'm done by your camp. What have you got for me? Yes, meat. No, I already showed him that stuff. Alright. Oh yeah, we bought a lot of stuff from you last time, so reputation would be rather low. I don't think I actually need anything. Alright. 
I'm gonna say today is sort of like our final check day because uh, if I'm gonna move to the if I'm gonna move to the silent forest I'm gonna want a whole day to do it and set up for the um, the night the first night there uh, enemies are gonna get a lot more aggressive as time goes on and as we move on and night times are gonna get a lot more aggressive and us moving to the uh, to the silent forest is gonna trigger a lot more enemies to start being aggressive with us at night time just gonna we're just gonna go our own ways dog I don't want to fight you right now there we go now we're more into uh regular darkwood noise and stuff yeah I okay so I did totally search this place just want to make sure I didn't leave anything behind yeah okay The only thing that would stop me from going to the new area per se is if uh, we got an invitation to the wedding. Because if we go, to, there's good stuff at the wedding spot, and if we get to go there, then we can get it. But until that happens, we're mostly just stuck uh, doing whatever. May as well check this place. I already know I cleared it. But sometimes triggering the wedding is just required to come here a couple times, so we'll see. Back here, bunny. I want your odd meat. Give meat. Damn, that bunny cheated. Foiled again. No food for us. Now, unlike the dogs, the bunnies drop odd meat, which is good for cooking. Hmm. Not much going on here. But I... Last stream, I was... Absolutely astounded to how good that bolter sounded in Necromunda. That that sounds perfect for a bolter. I I, I want to play it again. Well, one, it's a seems to be a really just good 40k shooter game. Movement and systems being kind of thought to be like a Doom game, a new Doom game, should I say? Um, it also seems like the developers after uh, Deathwing decided that. Maybe making a new 40k game, they should just make, like, uh, I, Divine Cybermancy in 40k. Hello, Toasty, I see you've joined us. <laughs> oh, a trap I haven't used. Excellent. Let's, uh, get that. Always need more scrap metal. Where are we about? Yeah, we're in the mushroom field. That's where I thought we were. Dance. Haha. -ha. How you doing, Toasty? Welcome to Darkwood, where we shall proceed to you know, not die terrified in the dark woods. Doing a dance, huh? That's fine. Also, like I've said to other people in chat, uh, I don't know why I'm my avatar is the first foremost thing. Oh, well, thank you, Toasty. It's nice that you came on over. Always nice to have you here. Don't think I left anything behind here. I just kind of want to do a thorough search of the area before we move on. After tonight. Hmm. There's a second lumber camp. I sometimes I think there's a third lumber camp, but I can't always remember. Also, excuse if I sound uh, t more tired than usual. Uh, it's been very hot here. Oh, 
I, that's the real monster of the dark wood. Whew, avoid the moose. In my personal experience this game, I would argue it's not even worth fighting the moose even if you have good weaponry. The moose is just, uh... It's just not worth it. The moose is too dangerous. In my opinion. Sure, you get some good loot from it, but... Nah, it's just not worth the pain. The potential pain and inability to recover that you put your character through. I searched here today. That's the meat I threw on the ground. Dog, I swear. We'll just uh, go our own way. I don't want to fight too much right now because I don't want to have the potential to waste resource before we move on. Because taking that house in the second area can be a huge investment. I can I can do that, Toasty. So Darkwood is a is a horror game is a horror game based upon the idea where they didn't want you where they didn't want to jump scare anybody. It's a horror game where they wanted not to hold your hand for the player to learn to be patient and the player to have an experience that they're treated like an adult. Essentially, was what they said. I'm not saying I'm not saying that jump scares aren't valid for some people as a way to uh, be scared, but um, they didn't want they wanted to create a, a horror game without jump scares, a horror game where uh, atmosphere, tension, and uh, ambience were the things that made you scared, and your reluctance to fight creatures. That's what they decided. This that's what they decided that uh, Darkwood would be based upon. So what did they do? They created a game about a story where the woods are alive, essentially, more so than normal, and nobody can get out, and people turn into horrific monsters, and um, you get characters like the wolfman, the chicken lady, who we haven't met yet, and the violinist. People have more titles than they do uh, actual names. Our character, the stranger, that's what they're called, um... For example, it, it's a game about survival and trading to survive and trying to make sure that you simply just live to see another day and trying to get out of the dark woods is the objective. There are other characters around who have the same idea as you. They want to get out, um, but they ha no one really has an idea. And the thought is, is that your character, seeing as how they had a key to a giant underground door... Is probably one of the few people who has a better idea than most, which gets them a lot of att attention from uh, people who know that you may know the way out. And that's not a good thing. Let's say that. Other than that, uh, a lot of the motif, as I said last time, quoting uh, Mandalore Gaming, would be, you know how biomechanical is an art style with like flesh and metal trying to imitate each other? This game's art style would I would require I would say is bioaboribus, seeing as how it's like trees imitating life is the way of it. Trees imitating flesh and uh, other things. Um, the other the other part of this game that makes it uh, spooky is that you only have your vision cone to see. Your character, you basically got a craft, and there are limited resources to a degree. And at nighttime, everything gets fucked, and you gotta board yourself in your house. Because the characters make reference to a thing that appears at night. And makes it dangerous for people to be out. What that thing is... What that thing is... It's, uh, we had a nightmare in the last stream, which we were chased by a, a giant black squiggly cloud. And that's the best description I can give you, is it's a substance that kind of 
emerges from the trees. Yeah, it's a neat game. Uh, we're about to reach our first night here anyway, so I'm going to start... Actually, I didn't start the generator, so let me run and do that quick. N after this night, we're going to head to the Silent Forest, and we're going to head to the second hideout. The first part of the game is split into three areas. Yeah, that's not fair. Spooky noises are happening already. Also, hello, Evie. I see you've joined. Nice to see you. I forgot to cook. These mushrooms are going to go bad. Oh, well. Uh, Alright. So now it's nighttime, so let's hold tight. Let's pull out our uh, good old plank with nails in it. Nighttime spookies, indeed. This is where the ambience truly kicks in. I love seeing the little avatars bounce around. Anybody who's feeling scared, jump behind my avatar and hide. Don't worry, I'll protect you. Just messing with the volume of my own headset. Here we go. It's officially nighttime, everybody. Mm hmm. You can't hide in the dark either, because literally the first thing you do is level up. And when you, one of the first things you do is level up and get an ability, and the detriment you take is staying in the dark is dangerous for you. And you can't level up without taking a detriment the first time you reach a new level of, uh, a new tier of abilities. So, we, if we're in the dark too long, we just get hurt. And that's because the, the best way to describe it is the shadows literally turn, come alive and attack you. We're not going to run into any of the worst enemies yet. Hang on. My mouse went off screen. Hang on. That's my own bad. We're not going to run into any of the worst enemies mm -hmm. yet. Someone is definitely here. That's it. Right there. I triggered the invitation to the wedding. Okay. Tomorrow we could go to the wedding if we want to. It's hard to see, but red light's being cast in through that light outside. We may not be able to go to the wedding yet. We have to, They have to actually knock at the door, try to get in. How's that ambience coming through for everybody? Okay, one of the... We're trapped in a box surrounded by ghosts, yeah. That is what I mean by the darkness comes alive and uh, tries to get you. You can see them wandering around out there. 
I'm trying to stay away from the windows because enemies will try and peek through the cracks in the windows to see you. Oh, you guys are back for another time? Fuck me. They smashed my... They smashed the barricade a little. Don't go out light. Stay, stay strong. Stay strong, light. Come on. We're about to hit daytime. It's daytime, yeah. Okay, we made it another night. Day seven. End of a week. Start of another. Also, as standard, start of the day, we get a little, uh, we get reprieve. Time stop is on. Traitor, you're here. All right, let me go uh, turn off the generator. Until we leave the property, time is stopped every morning. Give us a little reprieve from the night before. Traitor, what's up? Here he is, the traitor. He's our friend. He might look a little horrifying, but he's our friend. Uh, he always he brings us goodies to trade every day. You can't hear him talk very well because of his uh, his suit he's wearing, but he's our friend. Doesn't wish us any harm. I'm going to take some fuel from him. Do you have nails, good sir? I gave you a really good deal. Uh, so the whole way trading works is it's there's no money really. So it's kind of based upon bartering and reputation. Doing favors for people and bringing people good stuff builds the reputation. And then trading is based upon that reputation entirely. So, like, I had given Trader a lot of good stuff last time. So now he, I had a lot of reputation build up with him. And now he's cool with me taking some stuff. Thank you, my friend. I need to pack up for tonight. Figure out what we're bringing. Uh, probably don't rotten mushrooms. Yeah, we don't need those. We can probably just, uh, sadly, I wasted three mushrooms, but it's okay. Might leave that here for now. I have lots of fuel. But I know I was running low on nails, which is why I bought more. Yeah, that's that's kind of the feeling, right? Wishing you had given them just a little extra for something that they have on them that seems really nice. Uh, I'm getting completely sidetracked. It's I'm not losing time here. It's the morning still, so we don't have to worry about me like progressing time forward yet. I keep hearing noises of people moving in my house, and I know that's the traitor right now, but it isn't always someone friendly, so hearing people move around my house always gives me, like, hesitation, should I say? We need to bring alcohol for a certain good bean we will meet in the next area. I'm just going to bring some stuff so we can set up over there. That's essentially what I want to do. Everything else we can come back for. Or, and if we survive the night, I believe we get a visitor from, uh, uh, the bike man. Visitor from the bike man. No, we get visited by the bike man. And he's a very, very good boy. He will, we can trade him alcohol and he will go get stuff from our hideouts and bring it to the one we're staying at. And vice versa. 
Uh, what's another good thing to bring? I suppose more gasoline couldn't hurt. Alright. And I have bandages, so... Let's get going right away. I just want to check out front of the house quickly before we leave the property. Just to see if the wedding has triggered as an actual event. Nope. Shit. Well, let's carry on. As soon as we leave the property proper, uh, time can time resumes. The other part of this game is resource management, of course. Um, I'm going to have to remember the best place, for example, to defend uh, our new or the next property we come to when we get there. Uh, we don't automatically have the best setups always, and it'll probably take me the whole day to move stuff around and get it into a sort of desirable state. You're always in the way, Moose Man. Uh... <laughs> Welcome to the stream, Stalia. That's okay. I, I know you don't like horror, and that's fine. Just uh, hang out for a bit. Enjoy yourself. Um, you just pass by the spooky night, so you don't really have to worry about anything being too horrific. Kind of, until next night. Well, I mean, I'm literally running into dark, spooky woods right now, so. <laughs> now, now, be nice, everybody. Let's see if I can catch one of the bugs off guard. Your friendliness is good. Alright, bugs! I forgot I have a full inventory. The body will stay, so we'll be fine. If I recall, I'm open my journal. It's not that scary. You have a large amount of saltine crackers. Excellent. Saltine crackers are delicious. This game can be scary. It depends. It genuinely depends on um, what you find scary at any given time. You underestimate level of skittish. True. Hey, who are you? Map of the four. Oh, hey, thanks, buddy. Straight ahead, huh? P.O. Trek's house. You shotgun shells. Uh, you know what? Here. You can have my plank of... Actually, you I'll take the shotgun shells. Thank you. Onwards we go. Hey! I don't want to fight you! Oh! I'm trapped. Ow. Can we get around him? Yeah, we'll just get around him. I... I'd appreciate not. The forest. Oh. Well, <laughs> you know... Good luck to you with that. Um, I would say that game is many scarier than this game in general term. How did this happen, Stelia? How did this happen? This place would make a good hideout. Of course it would. Excellent. Lots of logs. Lots of wood. Yeah, that is a multiplayer one. It's also... It's also terrifying. 
in many more ways than one. All right, we're here. Nice thing to note is this is this game keeps your your level of uh <laughs> I see. So you got to prove Kuryo wrong, huh? Well, Well, as sad as it is to say, no one can blame. Uh, no one can blame me for, for. No one can blame me for that except yourself. And uh, Curious suggesting it, I guess. But um, I'm just gonna say uh, multi. I would say in single player. Yeah, be boss at it. Just prove. Just prove Curio wrong. Prove her wrong. Um, prove him wrong. <laughs> There's a lot of good stuff here. You definitely have at least one night's worth of gas in the generator. Excellent. Um... What else we got? Box. Potato. I actually need the key. Huh. Alright, I can't lockpick that, can I? Yeah, but that's because that's because yeah, that's true. That's true. And Rio tends to do that. I got mushrooms. I should cook those right away. Light the oven. The oven is lit again. Let me cook some mushrooms. Be prepared for the next dose. It's really weird the thought that the only thing your character eats slash um, intakes is substance they get from deep from breaking down infected material from the forest is what I will say. More mushroom. Let's cook. Let's put it all into the needle. We're going to need it eventually. Okay. Uh... Nothing in the shoes. What do you mean there's nothing in the shoes? Do they describe what we look like at all? Uh, the only thing that... The only descriptor you get of the protagonist is they look horrific. Like, um... Redeem the hydrate. Alright, let's do a hydrate. get drinking sound because I forgot to mute myself anyway um the protagonist looks kind of like a monster is the best description I can give like if you took a like if you took a mushroom and slapped it straight into a person's face that's kind of what I would describe them to look like but there's never been a actual concrete look because there's only one way you see what you look like kind of and it's in a mirror. You are. You are that monster. Enjoy being that monster. Okay, I need to repair the well, because the well is a free source of healing every morning. Can this game please stop making walking sounds in my house when I'm not looking? I don't like it. Uh, your character also tends to suffer from hallucinations. And because your character is affected by the plague in the forest, suffer from bouts of aggression, which is a, a symptom of the plague, is that creatures that suffer the plague are needlessly aggressive. So your character is in fact infected to some degree, but to what degree is impossible to tell. There's the bike bell! Yes, hallucinations. Your character suffers from hallucinations, aggression, and amongst other things. Well, that's the real question, isn't it? Is anything real in Darkwood? 
Is there any fuel? Oh, there is, in fact, fuel in here. Excellent. Let's get some more wood planks. Uh, alright, I gotta start preparing, so we're going to... Oh yeah, there's clothes on the ground here. Ration stamps. Interesting. And cloth. Rags are always good, because you can always, um... Always use them to... Craft healing supplies. The nighttime spooky boys seem real, the moose seem real. Well, those are real. What I'm gonna say probably isn't real. Anime's real, right? I mean... Did we ever debate the fact anime was real? I don't have any nails on me. I need all my nails. There they are. <laughs> okay. Well, you wanted a woo, so here's a woo. Ow! <laughs> and a woo. I never guarantee the volume, though. I find it's just a good idea in general to stay in this room, in this hideout. People... Everybody has a different, um... Preference when it comes to staying in this hideout. Because this is actually a pretty hard one to defend, all things considered. Oh, he's here. He's here! What a good boy! There he is, the bike man! Hey there, boss! I'll be honest your boss, I'm really thirsty, you see? If you could share a refreshing beverage with a wary traveler, I would make it worth your while, boss. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust, when life's a bitch, booze is a must. Bike man is in fact a good boy. Bike man, uh, we can pay in alcohol, and he'll go get stuff from our other hideout. How about, the, how about we show you this road? Nice job, Enrio. Beautiful road, Mr. Boss Man. Long and straight. You find only twisted paths in these parts, mister. The man waves his hand sloppily, almost losing his balance. Let me tell you something, mister. A good liquor straightens out all paths. Every single one of them. Ah, good vintage. A good bottle a day keeps the monsters away. Tell your health, boss. If you want, boss, I can be a junk over in the other hideout. Yep. Yeah. From the dry meadow. On it like a nun in a cucumber field, boss. So, he'll take some time, but he will bring us... I traded him a bottle of alcohol, and he'll bring us some of our loot from the other place that I left behind. Which makes him useful. Bike Boy is a good boy. He's He is kind of infected, debatably, but he's not aggressive, and he doesn't wish you immediate harm. Which is kind of what people... Uh argue as a marker for someone being your friend in this game is when somebody isn't openly aggressive and hostile towards you at all times which there are quite a few creatures and monsters that are I gotta get the lamps into my room or else I'm just gonna die and I can't remember which of these two lamps is the one that works so <laughs> I know that's an ominous thing to say but one of these lamps doesn't work very well and tends to break, so... It's only 3 in the afternoon, so let's spend the rest of our day setting up our, our new home. And I'm going to push this lamp into this corner over here to keep the light from cascading out where it doesn't need to be. And there's another lamp over here I need. Yeah, I think this is the broken lamp. But I want to keep the area where I'm going to be defending kind of lit, for the most part. Just so we have a place to hide and be happy. Well, relatively happy, anyway. I'm still getting stupidly distracted by my model. I'm very happy with it. We get a little return on taking down some of those wood planks and stuff, so I'm curious if I should, just for resources, but it also takes time. Time that I don't necessarily have all the time. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's how you do it. I forgot what the button was to cycle through objects. Wow? Wow what? <laughs> it's the only one I have set up. I'm sorry to say. Um... Not even a founder sub? What do you mean? How non-gamer? Wow. I mean, true. I guess I'm not even. I guess I'm not a founder sub to my own stream, huh? That is a very non-gamer move. Put that there. Ooh, lots of rags. I could use those. <laughs> I probably just haven't set it on my own chat identity. Which is the reality. I will like to make some bear traps if I can, though. Let's make uh, let's make a few bear traps. Yeah, it's interesting. I don't think you are either. It is kind of funny. You. Are you're your own stream maker, yet you're not a founder to your own stream. Like, come on, Twitch. SMH my head, my head. Well, let's set this at this door over here. So let's set up a few bear traps. This can't hurt uh, Bike Boy either. Glad to say. Um, he might return in time. I believe night starts at 8, so we gotta get this done quickly. Fill up that generator. We need to keep ourselves lit at night. There we go. I think Bike Man will have to show up tomorrow with our stuff. I think I did it too late in the day. This is a big property too, so I have heard people take to defending that alleyway at nighttime. Which is an interesting prospect, because that's the goop doesn't go there. Okay, and because I know this is a scary place, where are my vitamin pills? There we go. Just in case I need the healing. And we'll get ready for night. All right, chat. First night at our new hideout. Let's uh, let's hope it goes well. I'm gonna take a drink quick. All right, here we go. That's basically how this game works. Yeah. Sit in the corner and just hope you don't get invaded or die. I should definitely have enough fuel for one night. That's a, that's a for sure. If I have enough fuel for two nights, well, I have a lot of tank of fuel tanks. Hello, Kaliath. I see you're in the... Uh... Avatar, stream avatars, welcome to the stream. Yep, no problem there, Stelia. Uh, you go get ready for your stream. Good luck, my friend. Get that motivation. Get the... Motivation. 
the nights don't get longer, but they get rougher. Learning Vimblegum more, huh? Yeah, Virgil's a lot of fun to play. Awesome. You have fun with Vim Global. Vibble Global. Alright, night has started. More power. Haha, <laughs> funny motivation there. Yep, have a good have a good time, Stelia. I have so many snakes and stream avatars right now, it's making me happy. Many good snakes. We have a Kaliath, we have a Toasty. I have eight people, apparently. It already starts. They hate this door. Are there more than one of you there? Jesus. Stay out. listening. No, they're not. Also, hello, Gnome Wrecker. Welcome to the stream. I don't believe I've seen you around before, and if I have, I'm sorry. Leave. Leave. I'm about to go to sleep, pass out for the night, leave. Don't break my door just because you can, you asshole. Jerk. Traitor's right here. Okay. Let me go turn off the let me go turn off the heat, dude. Like I totally did step in it, huh? 
Oh, oh shit. Fuck me. Okay then. The goop is back. Hey trader, the goop's back. He can't, how did how did the bike man get in my house? Well, actually, for a matter of fact, how did the trader get in my house? You know what? I'm not gonna complain. They brought me he brought me some good shit. Hang on, dude. While we have time freeze, I'm just gonna take a breath and just get just saying hi. Yeah, indeed. I'm gonna gather all my stuff and just kind of take a minute to feel things out while you're here. Mikasa Sukasa. If they're not there to kill you, I say welcome them. Yeah, that's basically the mentality you take in this game. If they aren't immediately here to murder you and send you to the pits of hell, then they're not really enemies. I can repair that. I should repair my shovel. Good, good. Alright. Poor trader. Yeah, well, he's he's not immediately hostile, so we'll uh, we'll keep him friendly. And if you know any spoilers for the story, try not to say it for any for people who haven't seen the game before. All right, we have a, we just have a good old shovel. All right, trader friend. Comes bearing gifts and hated. No, nah, I don't hate the trader. I love the trader. I just don't understand how trader got into my house. It's locked up tight. Or should have been locked up tight. Actually, no, it wasn't. Never mind. The, that guy broke the door down. Okay. No, I see how they all got inside. I did a big empty brain moment. I'll save those for Wolf. He likes shotgun shells. I don't hate the traitor. The traitor's the goodest bean. The man stands before me. <laughs> just climbed in through the wall. Yeah. The man stands before me motionless. I can only see my own faint reflection in the tra semi-transparent visor of his helmet. Suddenly, he starts to move quicker, as if looking for something in his pockets. He takes out a piece of charcoal and starts writing on his palm. There is no way out of here, brother. He shows me what he has written, wipes it off with his sleeve, and continues scribbling. We're stuck with each other. After making sure I've also read the second sentence, the man takes out a full tank of gasoline from his sack. He places it on the floor next to me. He gave us a gift. He's such... not our enemy in any capacity. Brother! Alright, trade. We also get a hundred reputation with him for every night we survive, so he's really good to have around. I would never, ever do anything to hurt the trader. Here you go, my friend. Have potato, have bread, have pills, and I'm gonna see if I can take it. You have fabric. I will accept. I would like to take this fabric off you, good sir. <laughs> you enjoying stream avatars in real? Brother, I am pinned here. Mm, what else can we trade him? Sickles are interesting weapons. I've never really found a hilarious amount of success using them, but I know they're good. I'm not saying they're not. We can get that eventually. We're also going to build a Molotov because I need to clear up my shed. <laughs> build a Molotov to clear up my shed. Only dark wood. What could we trade him? I suppose I don't need all of these. How do I split a stack? I think, two. I think he just put his hand on my shoulder. I missed what he said because I was skipping through it, not thinking. You have fabric. I would love to take the fabric off you. But we don't. We don't have the ability to at this moment. Uh, 
we didn't set those on my property, I'll take it off. I'll take the fabric off those. But you see, who gooey scooted in my shed? You know what? It's fine. I need to get rid of that still. Nothing a torch couldn't handle, though. Unlike the big pile of gooey skew. I really don't think I'm going to be able to get that today, but if we survive it on the night, I can totally get the fabric off the trader. Then we can upgrade our inventory again, I believe. Well, we have everything we need except for the gas nozzle, which if I remember, we can get from Piotrek's house. I think it's in his shed. Okay. Well, I think, honestly, we have everything we need. Um... But this place is when the game starts to get real fucked. So, I'm gonna say be prepared. I have turned off the lights, yes? Just make, okay. All right, Wolf wants us to go meet him. So, we'll take the path over to Wolf's house, or to Wolf's camp. We can walk up past Pietrick's house as well. And then, um, we'll just see where the road takes us. We got a whole new area to explore. And this place is much more dense, much more densely wooded than the last area. Our visibility is going to be hampered quite a bit. Alrighty. It's interesting that the roads cross in front of our house like this. I've never had them do that before. We have a brand new area with a brand new, uh, brand new sources of wood. Well, Piotrex is literally right next door. Yes, yeah, it's Piotrex. Okay. This place looks like a scrap metal warehouse. The walls are covered with fungus and spider webs. It's very stuffy in here. I believe they gave us everything we need to clear out of the shed, too. Postcard with the portrait of a man. I smell Rosen. It's locked. I need a key. Who's there? I'm not going out until that beast lurking in my garage is gone. Okay. Man has a monster in his garage. I guess it's our job to clear it out. Because he doesn't want to come out unless it's out. And what is all this? A pile of sloppily, a pile of junk sloppily welded together. Good. I think we get enough here to do something about the mess. Yes, in fact we do. Excellent. Okay. I can't make that stuff on the fly. That's right. Okay, we'll have to come back later then. Let me grab the large mushrooms. We can just do it later. It's no big deal. Also, Kaliath, if you're here, um, I have to ask. 
were you in stream last uh at near the end of last stream like when i actually got and fired a bolter for a necromunda I'm just going to say I was pleasantly surprised. Alright, we're at Wolf's Camp. I can smell your stench from far away, meat. I'll be damned. I barely believe my beautiful eyes. You made it. I need to admit it. You're a re quite a resourceful piece of meat. The wolf smiles, revealing a row of sharp teeth. Time to get to the specifics. Follow the path located in the southeastern edge of the silent forest. You'll get to a village where you'll find a hag who reeks of chickens. Talk to her. Maybe you'll learn something. Interesting. But be on your guard, comrade. Don't let her deceive you with that kind face of hers. The selfish bitch is keeping something that does not belong to her behind the locked door in her house. Something I'm after. Bring me the key to that door, and I will tell you where to find the thing you lost. Is it fair, comrade? A key for a key? Heh, <laughs> good. Then take off. Get to work. Looks like no one else will enlighten you. Listen, the inhabitants of our lovely village hold many, many secrets. Treasures they do not wish to share with anyone. Those selfish, deceitful wretches. They think they're superior because they have human gobs. They treat us like lepers, but you know what? Fuck them. We're buddies, aren't we? And them? They deserve to be punished meat. The wolf moves closer to me. Hear that squealing? It's one of their secrets. The wolf grins, listening to the distant sound of the great relish. Find that pig shed meat, take, make that squealing stop, and the treasure will be yours. He wants us to kill the pig. I didn't bring anything to trade with you, my friend, but I may as well give you this battery. Uh, yeah, deal. Wolf is, I want to say he's a good bean, but Wolf is also very... Wolf's very angry. I... That is in fact a wolf. A wolf man. Uh, I somehow picked that up and wasn't able to stack it. There we go. I pressed the wrong button, I think. The wolf man is an angry person, I will just say that much. Okay, let's make a run back to the house now that we have all this stuff. I feel lucky that our house is so close to everything else right now, because it lets us uh, transport items very quickly. He's a chicken head. I'll come back for that stuff. This game also... give it a taste. Uh, I don't think our character likes eating, if I'm to be completely honest. I think our character prefers to cook, as far as I can say that. Hey! Why is there so much gooey scoo all over my house? Stop it! I... this is my house. Oh my goodness. Stop making spooky noises in my house, whoever you are. Gordon Ramsay. Well, if Gordon Ramsay was, like, in a crack, I guess. <laughs> what am I doing? Right, here. Just start storing your logs in here. It's not even been half a day yet. 
It's just we're just cresting a half a day. I guess it could be Gordon Ramsay's like Where? Where where was that? That's a normal dog. I heard a big dog. I heard a big dog. I don't know if you guys heard that, but Welcome to Hell's Kitchen. Uh-huh. Piotrek's house is here. So let's let's deal with Piotrek's mess quickly. Come on, doggo. Come on. Come on. Come at me. Sorry, dog. Let me touch your crate. So, Piotrek was scared of a dog. Blueprint. Okay. Piotrek wants to go to space, I think. There is gooey scoo outside here. Interesting. Alright, Piotrek. I cleared your house for you. There he is. Look at this. Now look at this boy. Man's got goals. Oops, I didn't hear you come in. The boy's eyes are wandering around the room. I found this wiggly metal thing yes. This metal, this wiggly metal thing yesterday. It was laying there in the grass. I don't like grass. It's so slippery and it tickles your feet rather than grass. I would prefer these metal wigglies. Yes. The metal antennas on his wiry but his wiry hat suddenly start vibrating. Do you do you have any metal wigglies? Show him the postcard. Oh, I have one too. It's such a beautiful photograph. Plastic chick. I had one just like this. I melted it into a perfect little ball, shaped like the moon. I melt everything into plastic moons. Pietrix suddenly becomes excited. And have you seen my vehicle? It's ready. Well, Almost ready. Just a couple of parts missing. I will need to find them. And I will need to repair the casing. The one from the spring fell off recently. And then I was entering the cockpit and I hit my head and it well, fell off. I thought it was flying, but it was just that the lights went off. Blueprint. These are the blueprints for my space rocket. Almost ready. I broke down a whole tractor to build it, but I'm missing several parts. Several very important parts. For example, a shiny little mirror and this rectangular box with wires, and the boy suddenly becomes very lost in thought. If only had more tractors, I'd definitely go to space. I think we have lots of tractor parts. Boat over road. You won't be able to make it home via this road. You should build a rocket. So, also, Piotrek deals in scraps and metals and mechanic stuff. I like to watch the stars at night. Oh, excuse me, one second. Oh. <clears throat> I like to watch the stars at night. Sometimes you can see these bright blinking spots. Those are spaceships and rockets, obviously. The sky is awfully boring during the day. No stars, no ships, no rockets, nothing. Only these white smoke trails. I saw one yesterday, over there, far above the treetops. Dad used to say they were planes, but such long planes, it'd be crazy to fly them. I haven't slept a wink today. The whole night I thought about the large metal cover from the tractor is such a beautiful cover. A deal cover. No doubts about that. I mean, almost. Because I would le need to bend it to fi with a screwdriver, and it it will shield me from the space dust, that is. <laughs> Piotrek suddenly becomes sad. Space dust. Space dust is everywhere. I forgot to trade with him. But we can, in fact, trade with Piotrek. He... He has that he has a cable, which actually we need. Not for something yet, but he had we need it. We do need it. We can have this bear trap. I don't need one. Well, alright. 
He likes all sorts of mechanical metal things. That's his whole modus operandi. Okay. We can get into his shed back here, which I kind of want to do. What's in your crate, good sir? Fabric, pill, more Molotovs. I think it's a good trade-off for what we used to get in here. Okay, so now we have Piatrek. Piatrek will give us lots of good materials for making things. Let's just say that. You want to send Boy to the Moon? We can send Boy to the Moon. We need to give him parts from tractors so he can finish his, uh, his space rocket. He needs three or four parts, I believe. We can try and send the boy to the moon. Wolf doesn't like Piatrek, by the way. Wolf wants Piatrek to explode. And I mean that literally. Just like Gru. Yeah, just like Gru. You know, if Gru was absolutely fucking nuts. You know what? I have just the thing for you. For you you guys. I missed. Come on. I can deal with just one of you. Run through the fire at me. Oh, you're smart. You're a smart one. That's it. We're getting a rhythm for fighting them. Do you get to be a super villain? Do you get to be a super villain from being sane? Probably not. Always take more rags. I would love. What can I dump? What don't I need? We have a lot of good stuff, which I just can't carry, but this place is cleared out. Alright, so the tank wreck... We cleared the tank, which is more than I can say that I've done in a lot of playthroughs in this game. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's stay away from that. There appears to be a big dog in there. You're fucking moving. Ugh. That's a moose. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, Mr. Moose. What's in your well, Piatrek? Rope. We have a lot of stuff we just can't carry right now. Interesting, huh? Well, let's take this load back. I'm not feeling very easy with the fact that I can hear big dogs everywhere. Forget how to do the dodge. Oh, it's control. Okay. The dodge is control. I just figured it out. There's the big dog. That dog is... I am walking over everything because I'm not paying attention. We need to repair our... Our, uh, shovel. Oh, come on back. Behave, please. I'm in shrimp formation. Hang on. Oh, self shrimp check. I need to take a drink of water. Just give me a second.
Water consumed. Okay. More cooking. Oh, I can make something. Inventory or hotbar? What's more useful, do you think? To have an inventory upgrade or a hotbar upgrade? This is actually a good question here, chat. An inventory upgrade will give us two more spaces of inventory, but a hotbar upgrade will give us another thing we can uh, switch to on the fly. I'm just a trusting position. Give me one second. Ugh. My chair went all the way down. So either we can have more sp more inventory space, or we can have more hot bar space. I'm asking you guys, what do you think would be a good idea? Space, maybe? Well, inventory or hot bar in Ryu. I can assume you mean inventory. We, there's another piece of fabric down by the uh, tank. So what we can do is make an inventory and then we can run out and grab the one down by the tank. Lots of inventory space. Excellent. We can run out and grab the one down by the tank, and then we can have a tank. We can upgrade our hop bar too. We have time. It's only four o'clock, but this will probably be our last trip out today. There's so much, there's so many good things out in this forest right now. We have a lot of good supplies. And then we can have a fourth item on our hot bar, which technically gives us another inventory space as well. But practicality speaking, you know. Okay, you just have an empty bottle. You had a staff I wanted. Okay, that's the tank cleared. Let's... The more the more landmarks we get, the easier it will be to tell where we are. big dog. Bad dog. Okay. I'm okay with using a little durability to kill a big dog. They're nasty. Uh, and it's safer for us just to not have them running around so close to our home. That just leads to trouble when all is said and done. Okay. Let's cook the dog meat. Awesome. Four hot bar spaces. Let's give this generator a little more juice. It's going to rain. Alright. Night time's about to start, everybody. Let's get prepared.
the exciting part. True. Very true. Ride or die time. Ain't that, a, ain't that the story of this game's life? Time to ride or die. I'm actually gonna go move this away from this door a little bit. Now, we already had one extremely eventful night so far, so let's hope tonight's a little calmer. I know the enemies like to attack more near the end of a week, but we just started a week, so hopefully they won't be nearly as aggressive. Engi. Water time. Piotrek's voice ruined my throat more than I thought it would. <laughs> Yeah, but the events kind of ramp up towards the end of the week, or they used to in the very least. So, we won't always have attacks every night, I should say. Keep an eye on everything from here. Come to finish the job on my door, huh? Stay out of my house. Just just stay out of my house, please. I shouldn't be moving this much, but they keep making me have to react to them, which is very poor. Poor form on their part. They should... You know, it's incredibly rude to break into someone's house. I just fixed that! You asshole. How about I just give you this? Breaking through another boarded up part of the house somewhere. Come on in. The water's fine.
My doors alone. Come on. <sighs> good, 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 good. Hello, trader. Give me a sec there, buddy. I need to go turn off the light gooey scoot up my house again that spreads too so I need to do something about it kind of soon can we spread I just need to build a torch and go waving it around that'd be way cheaper than doing it with molotovs but you know Mr. Trader Man I have gear for you but they're being incredibly mean to me out here and I don't like it uh, I will sell the knife. The knife isn't an amazing weapon, in my opinion. And a lot of people like the knife. I'm I'm just not good with it. Let's just put it that way. I did that in the most roundabout, out-and-out -out way that I ever could. <sighs> Trader man. What can I get from you today? Here, take this knife, good sir. In exchange, I might take that and sell it somewhere else. Actually, I have 500 rep with this guy, and nothing I really need. Oh, actually, I could start. Hang on, before you leave, trader, I want to see what I can do to upgrade my uh, shovel. Taxi is less stamina. I need metal pipes and tape. I just need to buy some pipes. Sturdy blade, greatly increased weapon durability. That sounds fantastic. Uh, better materials. Inflict more damage. I genuinely feel like the durability is going to be the best bet here. I'll take another shovel blade from you and I'll give you that in return. Thank you. He nods. Excellent. He likes our trade. I don't have enough to do anything with it yet, but... We're gonna repair my shovel and go on our way. I have vitamins to trade you, sir. Here, have these vitamins. Okay, uh, I need to build a torch. Actually, I need this. We don't really need Piet we don't need the bike man for a little bit, so I'm gonna go clear some shit in my house. It. No more gooey scoo in my actual house. That's what we want. Hey, you. Leave. No more gooey scoo. Excellent. Okay, so we have a mushroom field to our south. I kind of need to check what's back here because I know I just ran through it. But it was being. Right, that's my moth ability. I can hear near light. Forgot I had that for a second. Uh, I need to check what's back here because we kind of ran through it because we were. That's a really good camp to clear out, too. Hey. Behave. 
Give me your alcohol and rags. You don't deserve them. Not when you treat me like that. Don't got much up over here, huh? Okay. You can deal with that. Not much going on here. I just want to clear the surrounding areas from uh, Angie boys. Apply some bandages. There we go. Hey, dog, I'm up for your shit. Down you go. More rags, more bottles, but the most important thing there was the rags. Single shot pistol, huh? Okay. Useful. And a Molotov. I can take that. I can use that. Okay, well now we know where the two tank wrecks are. That's cool. A dog almost ruined our whole plan. Ooh, more scrap. This is exactly what we want. Find lots of scrap. Because then I can upgrade my shovel and everything should be good with the world. Greater durability. Reinforced shovel blade. Mm -mm -mm. Bear traps. Free bear traps I'll never turn down. You know, we've barely left our property and we already have a full inventory. That's how fertile this area is with goods for us. Mm. Real tasty. Real tasty goods that we can use to survive. Two scrap. Uh, we have more log. Always need more. It's really going to start raining again, huh? Already? Uh, more alcohol, more alcohol. I almost stepped in my own bear. I almost stepped in my own trap. Just wait till they see what I can go get at Wolfman Kmart. Everyone will be really surprised. I should spend some time and get some more wood. I need it before I forget, and it's too late because I've gone too far out. Wolfman Kmart would be wonderful because he sells lots of really good weaponry. Alrighty, one more bar. There we go. Pour this in our generator because don't weigh a waste not want not. You know. There we go. Ooh. Wonderful. Got a bit more wood already. More survive material. I'm feeling some spaghetti tonight. Are you guys feeling some spaghetti? I could change to spaghetti in a bit, maybe. It depends.
Hedrick. In a minute, Rio. Another knife. I'm not gonna turn down. Hey. I'm on fire! Oh shit! Woo! I'm burning! Oh fuck, I died. But I died on my lawn. Here, let's take a quick sip now. Water. Hmm. At least I got me shovel. Me trusty shovel. I don't really have that much on me, so it's not like I could have lost very much, mind you, but... Let's take this pistol and this knife to Wolfman Kmart. I mean, those are rocks. Let's go to Wolfman Kmart. I was hoping to hit more with that Molotov, but that didn't really turn out very well. Just thinking what Wolfman could give us in exchange for some goods. A lot of dogs like to spawn around Wolfman's camp in this area. Wolfman, help me! I have a single shot pistol for you and a knife. What do you got for me, sir? Not an amazing amount, but I'll give this stuff to you because I know you like it. There's wood right over here. Wolf, you're holding out on me. Oh, this is a really cool scene. The giant hole. Now what is it we see down there, everybody? The rain is making this miserable to see around all the trees. On the silo. We don't have this moment. Someone lives here. I wonder whose house this is. 
Dead rat, scrap metal, wire. Well, this get us everything we need to upgrade our shovel. Interesting face. Let's see if we can find that village. That village is close southeast, he said. The wolf. <laughs> you guys saw that, right? That uh, savage is being attacked by those dogs. This is where it is. Yes. Awesome. We found it. Road to the village. The gutted pig. Huh. All right, everybody. Let's go to the village. If I recall, time doesn't move here. I think we're safe in the village. Time does not move. We're okay. A shiny stone impressed in the mud covered head. Take the stone. Shiny stones are always worth good money. So we have as much time as we want to wander around the village here. The woods are so beautiful this time of year. Where's my meat? I should get two kilos of meat for this month. This place is just as messed up as everywhere else is. Get the fuck away from my home. There is no more meat. Okay. There's pig drawings in the ground here. There's a reason I wanted to come here. For one reason or another. I wanted to start the, uh, the sheep ladies. What? Sheep. Chicken Lady's Quest, if I could. Who is this lady up over here? The woman stares at the ground with a dead look. Kill the pig. That's two people have asked us to kill the pig now. Um, Wolf has sort of indirectly told us to kill the pig by telling us to go to the pig shed and, you know. Well, I think he, he said to kill the pig. 
That's the second person who wants to kill the pig. The floor is sticky with chicken feces and feathers. Here she is. An old lady squints at me, her eyes full of suspicion. She hugs her chickens possessively. Make bacon. We could make bacon. You'll better keep them hands off me hens, you bloody scoundrel. The old lady puts one of her hens to her ear, mumbling under her breath. After a moment, she calms down. I've seen me share of things. I lived through many a war, but nothing like this. Lord be my witness. This accursed land ain't a place for men, ain't a place for hens. Look at this plastic check. Hell's bells, where'd you get it? Where'd you find it? The old lady seems disturbed. The hens fell silent. I can feel the tension in the air. Holy mother, it's Janik's little hen, a gift from me, my little brother. A couple days ago he he got mad. I told him stay, you're not one of the brainy fellas, you know nothing. But he wouldn't listen, and he went off he went with that other fella. Here, take this. He went to see this fella. He didn't see him? He never came back. The lady shoves a couple photo in my hand. That's a horrific image. But that's the doctor. The, the woman trembles violently. The hen on her shoulder struggles to maintain balance. You're all I have, my little sisters. Photo of the road. Oh, I remember this place. I do. It's been six years since I've been there last. This road used to lead the, to the other village. Oh. You could also take it to get to the city. Not that uh, far away from here. You won't get there now. Those devilish trees have overgrown everything. Gossip. Poor Hanuska has lost her mind. Her fella knocked her up with this abomination. Even the mongrels tucked their tails and yelped when they saw it. I tell ya, poor soul. They burned her fella with a shack and took the little horror somewhere. Everyone got the jitters. Little wonder. Oh, congrats on Ryu. Also, yeah, the photo's just a little smudged. It was long ago, but you remember still, my little hen, don't ya? Thank the Lord for our sow. Poor thing seems sickly, but she has more life in her than a lot of us, if you ask me. Only thanks to her we got something to put in the pot these days. That's another reference to the chicken. Holy mother, this creep again. May the devil take him and his blasted violin. The old lady turns around and starts to scream, Devil fucked your mother. Get away from me house. Well. We now know where the pig shed is. Pig. I'm assuming you meant pig. A cross covered in mud and sticks. Huh. Just learning. Generally, I don't know what any dead rats for. Chicken eggs! Hmm. Don't need that. Let's gather some eggs. True. Just violining. I can get to and from this area very quickly. I know how to. There's a lot of good stuff here. We can't... The chicken lady's house we must raid. Can you hear that audio from behind the wall? There's something monstrous in there. I'm sorry, it won't happen again. Musician, talk. It's not my fault. I don't know. It doesn't. I know it doesn't sound too great. My violin. It's a bit broken. I won't play anymore. I'm sorry. Um, sir, have you been in that hut, the chicken lady's hut? You're not afraid of her? You're brave. Have you seen her, the pretty lady? She's the most beautiful lady in the world. I watch her through the cracks in the window. But she cha she changes when I watch her. She gets more beautiful. I play for her. I want her to be happy because she doesn't seem to be. Chicken lady locked her in that room. She keeps her there. She envies her. She won't allow anyone to see her. Even me. She knows very well that during the last couple of night, I fished out the pretty lady's wreath from the river. 
Yes, sir. The chicken lady knows what it means. Oh, yes. I will become the pretty lady's husband. We will walk hand in hand, sir. I will play for her, Mr. Sir. I tried to release her, but the chicken lady, she chased me off. She always does. I also look for the second key. And Mr. Jans, but he's now disappeared. I don't know how to get into his house. Nod. So kind, so very kind. You're just like him, my da daddy. But my papa has changed, mister. Just like my mommy. They will not listen to me. They won't hear how sad I am, sir. Oh, but I am not boring you, sir. Please, do don't go. Please hear me out. Don't go. Never going to hear from underneath the tractor. Perhaps you could help me? Sure. Please, please find that key, good sir, to the pretty lady's room. To the chicken lady has it. Well, Mr. Jan also has it. I saw him recently, near the well. He used to play with me. He, we threw rocks into the well, and I lo and looked at our reflections, making silly faces. Daddy used to say not to do it, else my face would stay that way. Now the water in this well is always hazy. It shows weird images. The well is here, in the village. Maybe you will be able to find it there. Help the world's tiniest violin. It is almost like the world's tiniest violin. He used to hang around it often. He stared off into the well, as if looking for something. For someone. I must hide now. Hide from the chicken lady. I'll go to that place where they used to keep all the grain. In the eastern part of the silent forest. Will you bring me the key if you find it? I promise to pay you somehow. Mimi and the pretty lady. Show you the photo of the doctor. The only thing you can really see of him are his eyes giving off a little light right there. A little pinprick lights. This is our doctor, yes. He is just as brave and good as you are. He helped me. He is helping all of us. Oh, my eyes are bugging out a little. He gave me this beautiful mask so I could be healed too of my afflictions. Maybe you could have one too. Mommy once told me about this road. She said people used to travel it. They would leave their houses and walk it during the night. I was scared of this story. I was afraid Mommy will go too. Leave me behind. Gossip. Have you heard about the sow? The villagers keep the sow in the nearby pig shed. They call it the mother of all pigs. They say it's beautiful, but I've never seen it. They won't allow me near her. They ch chase me off. Tractor. Yeah. If you look under the tractor, you can see there's a person down there, Toasty. And all you can kind of see, if you look carefully, are two little eyes. But I've never seen it. They won't allow me near her. They chase me off. They always chase me off. The little musician drops his gaze. Maybe you'd be able to see her, mister? Nah, he's the tractor. Yeah, sure. If you manage to get inside, maybe you could take a wee piece of meat for me? I've never eaten a pig. I've heard it's very tasty. Would you take some for me? We've heard so much information about this pig. I think this is... He said it needs to be done. Burn a mix of herbs in the oven. Uh, please, sir, may I have some more? Uh, lovage chamomile nettle. Keep the patient warm. Twice a day, a tablespoon of sauerkraut juice by mouth. We can get a free chain in this body. This guy definitely burned somebody. I think you misunderstood the instructions, sir. I see Estalia is back. Either that or she's lurking, which is fine. There isn't any problem in lurking. I feel very fortunate that time is frozen here. That's all we know what the uh, pretty lady looks like. All right, hole man, where are you? I'm looking for you. The man with the holes. I 
I think that's Janik's house. Yeah. Well, that's the way back up from down below. Door is blocked from the other side. Need a key. I believe this is the house where, where the chicken lady uh, key is, or her brother's key, to be exact. Yeah, this village isn't isn't any better than the forest. Truly, besides the fact that nobody is actively trying to kill us at all times. Person doing laundry. Burned house. There's a certain man who likes to dig holes, and I'm looking for him. stuff down there, huh? Alright, let's go. Fucking quack doctor. They burned the doctor's stuff. Need a chain. Well, there's a chain in the other house. I know where to get it. There's something to do with the well, where we can get a key. He's been hiding in his clutch the past couple of days. He'll end up like the others. I'm telling you. They'll run off into the woods and disappear. The villagers turn their heads away from me. Don't think I'm welcome here. This is what I was looking for. What do you want? It's a little high as well. Grab my goods to the web. Looks like a grown man with long, disheveled hair. He's completely covered in mud. What if I go in this hole? <gasps> Look! We have a shortcut back to our house! The entire reason why to come here is because it opens a shortcut back to our house. So now we can run from the village to our house incredibly quickly. I'm out of place to store things here. That's unfortunate. Well, there's a reason we have wardrobes. Stick our bread. Well, actually, I wanted to do one thing quickly. Give me that sturdy blade. Greatly increased durability. We'll also repair our shovel. Fresh start with the shovel. We have so much stuff, it's overflowing. That's how fortunate we are right now. I have even more alcohol and duct tape and stuff in my hands. Oh boy! A safe place to put some of this isn't here. We have so much stuff, it's not even fair. For the rest of the people in the dark wood, I mean. Not for us. We have tons of stuff. Sturdy blade. Um, we could also do light materials to use less stamina. We just need another pipe, which I believe we can get from Wolf. We're lucky we might be able to find something in town, but I don't think we will. Alright. I'm very happy this man 
dug a shortcut from the village to our house. So now we have a quick way back here. Thank you, whole man. Keep exploring now. <laughs> Are you having fun over there? Siphon. Battery. People tend to tell you to get away from them if you get too close. There aren't too many people who are very happy with your presence here. The villagers are very scared of people who have been mutated. They see it as a sign that you are not safe to be around. In a lot of instances, they would be right. Brick oven used to be, she used to bake bread. Brick oven used to bake bread. Then more lockpicks. We're slowly breaking our way into everyone's property here. Slowly but surely. That's how Mofia works. The Mofia, huh? The Mofia, huh? I would like to get the chain from your house, sir. Give me the chain. There we go. Also, now that I took the statue, the piece of the glowing thing from their statue, the villagers will be a lot less happy with me. Not that they know explicitly that it was me, but... They said somebody took, uh, well, so they'll start talking about how someone took the shiny stone from their statue. And about how pissed off that makes them all. Is it supposed to be an idol to whatever people think is in the woods, really? <sighs> oh no. I'm getting tired. Whole man, how you doing? Whole man ain't a bother to nobody. Whole man made a shortcut for us. Dreamt of my mother today. They want us to go to the pig shed. A lot of people are talking about the pig shed. So now we have a way down into the well. I don't really feel prepared to go down there. I don't have a lot of stuff with me. Let's go back home for tonight, chat. We'll do one more night, and then we'll see what I feel up for. Build some bandages. Hmm. 
Let's build a Molotov cocktail. Uh... Let's go get some more wood made. Actually, I can probably turn that off for now. I just wasted a little bit of gas, but whatever. We have lots of gas. We're not really worried about too much gas right now. This is iffy. We don't have much for traps now, but lockpick for later. Take these pills just in case. No, those pills aren't the healing ones. Hmm. House boarded up. Okay. All right, chat. Another night. Another night in the dark wood. Let me take a drink before we do this. Alrighty. Into the dark wood we go. It's a quiet night tonight, please. Let's just have a quiet night. Is indeed eight o'clock when it triggers. Okay. I already knew that, but I keep forgetting it is. You know, potato brain. Speaking of which, I left a lot of potatoes out there at the hut, at the village. We need to gather them up, make lots of good potato. Don't immediately be a terrible night, please. I'd appreciate just a quiet, quiet night. No, uh, no big Angies tonight, please. Mm. No big Angies. Not allowed in my house. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, excuse me. First thing that happens is we get attacked, huh? It's 
bathroom is terrible because it's really small, but... Ow, fuck. Ah, uh, this is my own fault. This is no one's fault but my own. Shit. <laughs> fuck. Alright, well, first death at night. Because I backstepped into my own trap. Understandable. Well. Hang on, dude. I gotta go fix this shit. Turn off, thank you. Oh shit. Oh well, first death at night. Um let's go talk to our friend the trader. That's that's my own fault. I ran into that. I knew it was there and I ran into that. Trader, would you be able to bonk me on the head for being so dumb? Hmm. Can't cook this. <laughs> we need like one or two more things and we can cook. Yeah, you're not very happy I didn't survive this night. I know, friend. But what have you got for me? Anything good? Not really. Okay. Um... I feel like... For me, that's enough dark wood tonight anyway. But, um... But, uh, what do you guys think? Should I, just because I had enough dark wood doesn't mean I want to stop playing. Do you guys want to switch over to a different game? I'm very happy to boot up Spaghetti Factory because we didn't get a chance to play it this week. You know what? I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to switch over to Spaghetti Factory. So just give me one second here. Let me just, uh, I'll save by touching the oven quick. Save. Excellent. Okay. We made some good progress in Darkwood tonight, though. Let's play Skeddy. Awesome. Okay. We'll play some Skeddy for a bit. Let me get that up and running. Just because, uh, as much as I love Darkwood, um, my mental loop right now is a little tired, and I am not thinking clearly, obviously, playing that game. Not that I won't play it again, I love that game. But something that, well, ironically taking maybe more upfront thought, but isn't as stressful, maybe? I want to say maybe isn't as stressful? There we go. Factorio's up. So what do you think, everybody? Play some Spaghetti Factory? The real spaghetti. That's what we are, right? The real spaghetti. I believe so. Alrighty. Yeah, this is us. This is us. Uh, let's take a look at the map. Yeah, that's right. We're completely surrounded by almost no trees. That's a lot of fucking uranium. Holy shit. Uh, that's a lot of crude oil, too. We can hit fire, everybody. Loads of fire. Actually, before we continue, let me just change this on a... Let me just change this. So people aren't confused.
I'm just changing things over on uh over on uh Twitch. There we go. That should have changed, right? I think. Let me reload. Yeah, return of the spaghetti. Excellent. Okay. All right, let us go back in. Thank you, OBS. Thank you, everything. Time for Sketty. Okay. So where were we at? Let me check researches. Mm, I forget what we just set up last time. Right, we cleared out that one nest. And we have our real spaghetti going strong. Oh, here it is. Here's some good spaghetti. Yeah, that's right, Toasty. We're on spaghetti land right now. Look at all this spaghetti we made over here. Mm-mm-mm. Uh, our copper's still good. We're making walls. Um, I think we're doing okay, honestly. We don't need that. This game has a wonderful tutorial system too, by the way. The tutorials that pop up to teach you about things. I think we just had this set up near the end of last stream. Getting that green uh, science pack automation. So... Let's see what we got. Military science packs. Yeah. And I have a little bit of... Yeah, that's being made there. Okay. But I feel like, how many do we have here? Yeah, we're almost full. Okay, and after that, I'll take that apart. I shouldn't need any more ammo after that. Um, okay. I remember what happened. I destroyed my production. I got destroyed by bugs, lost a lot of shit. But that shit was uh, chili cheese fries compared to what we have right now. get some of this going here. You know, I could very easily make this way more balanced over here. I just need some more... more factories. Awesome. There we go. Yes. I didn't get a chance to play this this week because because yes I was supposed to play it yesterday, but I was feeling kind of foggy and tired because of the heat around here. But now now we play spaghetti. Now is the time we do the spaghettiing. I think anyway. So I do it anyway. Maximum spaghetti time. There we go. How's our power doing? Yeah, we have a satisfaction. There we go. We're now completely automating firearm uh, magazine production. Basic, just ma basic magazines. Soon, we shall have even more production going. I'm very happy about this. I, I love this game. This game is a treat. Alright, let's take a look. Steel plates. We don't have steel plate production up, do we? For that, we're going to need a bit more iron production when it comes down to it. Christmas time. All right, here. Let's uh, let's do a little belt balancing. Get 
There we go. That's a bit better, because now the belts are a little more balanced. I, I like setting up belt balancers just because it gives us a little more surety things are going to stay together for a while. Oh no, I fucked up. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on there, friendo. Hang on, I need to get in there. There we go. Hmm. We're getting real close to some other fighter nests. This one's going to... This one, these two have already started to come and get us. Loads of iron. Need all that, sorry. We need to go set up another gun another gun stop for our uh, our enemies. The little biters. Loads of walls. Delicious, delicious walls. Let's just take a look at the map. Yeah, just directly back from this. Yeah, they're gonna... We'll need to be a little quick with this, because they're gonna upgrade fast, and we can't afford them to upgrade really quick. Loads of trees over here. Uh, standard production. Hey. Don't cheat me like that. There we go. Now at least we have more gun turrets defending us. We don't really have anything to our east. Everywhere else I'm kind of worried about, though. I genuinely think I just might be tired. It's been a very hot week. Tentacle fish? Why is tentacle fish? Who is tentacle fish? What is tentacle fish? What is tentacle fish, Uriel? Not just who, but why tentacle fish? Hmm. More. More! More! <laughs> Fine, how is tentacle fish? You know, I don't know what I expected. Tentacle fish being wiggly is, I think, probably an extremely normal statement. Help me. 
I should have some down over here. Right. Right. I should have some. I'm gonna steal some. Thank you. Thank you, my own production line. I needed all these. This is how we do thing, chat. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful spaghetti. When someone asks you, oh, do you consider yourself a factory maker? I say no. And they say, what, why? I'm like, because I'm a spaghetti chef. I make the most brilliant spaghetti this side of the uh, continent. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that production line of iron. Look how powerful it is. We're definitely producing more iron than we need at this point. So. Mm. Uh, yeah, some more water drinking. Blech. Sorry, guys. Um... Why don't we... Well, I should actually probably buff out my, uh... I should probably buff out the coal production now, now that I'm thinking about it. Um... Let's get steel up tonight. Let's get steel up tonight and get that up and running. Oh... Let's buff up our steel production just a little bit. Mm -mm -mm. I barely even noticed the movement. All right, let's look at fresh. Satisfaction is just fine, okay. I don't think satisfaction will be fine after we get this going. I have a hunch about that. Wiggle. Indeed. Wiggle indeed. Alright. Where should I steal? Where and how shall I shall I do the steal? I could do it down there. I think I'll do it down I'll do it down below. Making Christmas, making Christmas. I need belts. Give belt. That's where I have my belt production. This is just, this is for me. I'll take that. Easy for me. Okay. Let's get our steel plates coming down. No, that's not sweet. Alright. Uh circuits. We'll get gates going. 
it's what we're going to be using soon. We're going to be using gates soon here anyway, so I would rather us... We're going to be needing gates soon, should I say. So I'd rather us have access to the gates we need than not have access to any gates. Genuinely. Right, here we go. We're almost, we're almost in the home free. Oh yeah, start that spooky music up. Just give it to us. Okay. Just give us that spooky, wondrous music. Let us wonder exactly what's going to come and murder us really hard. Here we go. All right, chat, here we do it. Let's get some more stone. I need stone. Stone for production. This is where I always need this. Uh, steel production needs to be fast or else it just doesn't produce enough at all. Which is where the issue comes in because it ends up hogging a lot of the iron production and then a lot of coal at the same time. <clears throat> yeah, my throat's starting to go a little bit. I am weak. Weak baby, weak baby throat is me. Okay. I need more. More. More! Give me more inserters! Build an inserter zone all to myself. In the zone, inserter zone. Okay. I've also been jonesing when I get a little bit more money again, eventually, to pick up the Mass Effect, uh, the Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Mass Effect is a huge part of my gaming childhood, so or early teens, I guess. But it was a game which made me realize I could like it had it had really good storytelling at a certain point. I don't want to hear about. I, I don't want anyone to mention a certain uh, ending to a certain game in that series. Makes me sad just thinking about it. Never seen a game series which mis got so mishandled right at the end. So, it's such a it's so such a sad way. It's just a shame. Oh, but as far as I know, it's EA interfered a lot. So whatever. And that's steel production, baby. Yeah, we're pulling a lot there. That's fine. We need to pull from there. Let's check our... Satisfaction is still okay. We have some steel production going. 
What we really need is to get the better furnaces rolling. Steel and stone bricks. That's what I can do. <laughs> I made up walls. Okay, I need these. Well, let's replace some of these right away. Um, this is something I specifically need to split stone, stone bricks for, is to get a uh, assembly built to produce, well, well, you know what it is. I need to actually produce those in a semi-mass. Okay. Let's replace these four with these big furnaces. Much more production. That will give us a little better steel production so we can catch up. Uh, that'll also require us to start looking into replacing all that up there eventually. Um, yeah. Honestly, let's just let's take a quick look and see who's streaming tonight. Who else is streaming tonight? We're being attacked. I can see that. All right, who else is streaming tonight? You know, he is. He has raided us so many times up to this point. I'm just feeling tired tonight, guys. I think we're gonna end a little early for this. Um, I'll save real spaghetti. Um, I'm gonna switch over to our uh stream chatting. But we're going to raid Artsy Hartsy. He's raided us a couple times. And he's a really sweet guy. Really nice. A really, really good friend. So let's go raid Artsy. Let me get it all set up, okay? Let's get it all set up in the background here so I can raid him and then I'll end stream and raid him. Because he deserves it. Pull this over here so I can see what I'm doing. This is how we do it. I'm just making sure I spelled his name right. I think so. Okay. Uh, let's see if this starts the raid. If not, then we'll fix it. All right. Yes. All right. Are you guys ready? Because we're gonna raid. Our, we're gonna raid Heartsy. Uh, when we get there, give him a big old woo for me. Okay. We're all gonna give him a big old woo together. All right. Uh, three, two, one. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 